Hey guys, and welcome back in to our brand new segment that we're doing, 100 Yards with Stephen Hargis. And today we're at Howard High School with head coach John Starr. John, how's your summer? Awesome. Had a great summer. Good. It's, it's a little hot, so it, it's still summer, but today actually starts practice for these guys. They're not in pads just yet, but the dead period is over. All the teams around Tennessee are going back out in shorts and helmets. Uh, yes. You guys will be going out here shortly, so yes, we're going to interrupt practice for just a few minutes. We're going to walk and talk about this this coming season for the Hustling Tigers. Sounds good. All right. John, how many guys uh, do you have back from last year? Six or eight starters, I think it is, on both sides? Yeah, I think we have a six or eight guys back. We have the majority of our skill kids are back on offense, and about half our defense is back. And you guys won, I think it was, was it four of the last five last yes, sir. season? Yeah, we I mean, uh, building off of that, what, what can that do confidence wise for these guys? I think it does a lot. You know, when we went up to Elizabeth and in that first round and got deep, played a really good ball game, and our guys came back with a lot of confidence. You know, they're begging, let's go. Hey, coach, can we get them on the schedule again? You know, let's, can we play open with them? Just let's play again. And I think that helped them. They understood the level that we want to play at. Who are some guys uh, offensively, defensively, uh, that you're really anxious, either, either returners or kids that you've been impressed with during the summer workouts and things like that? Who are some guys that you're really looking forward to seeing this year? I think probably the first guy that jumps off the page is Eric Johnson. Eric, uh, he's, always, he's been starting since I've been here. Uh, mostly on defense, but about midway season when we started winning, we realized that uh, we lost about three tailbacks last year, and we threw Eric in there because he was the next best athlete. And when he got in there, we started winning. So I'm excited about having him back. Uh, what is it about him that kind of separates him from the other guys? He just got he's, that he's impact got that that factor. Yeah, he, it's, you know, when you see him, he's not intimidating with his size, but uh, he's got the biggest heart you've ever seen in a football player. He wants to win every night. And, uh, you know, we got Devontae Smith, who we counted on heavily last year, a bigger back that uh, really put together some really good games but couldn't stay healthy. He was he spent most of the season hurt, but he's a really good player. Uh, we've got Javion Robinson. He's been starting for a couple years on mm -hmm. both sides of the ball. He's back. We've got, uh, what is Small Fry Real's name? Uh, he's back. You know, we just, our biggest concern is who's going to play quarterback. What okay. tailback going to play yeah. quarterback? Yeah. Did you get any guys with experience last year, or are you starting all over from scratch at the quarterback? Well, well, actually, Eric Johnson was a backup quarterback okay. last year to start okay. the season, and he ended up. We got to have, we got to get, get find ways to get him the ball, so yeah. we want to move him around a little gotcha. bit. Uh, we think Monte Brooks, uh, Tremonte, he he's the guy right now as our leading guy as a quarterback. CJ. CJ Calvin James is also a really good quarterback prospect. Probably, you know, we got Elder. He's a, you know, we got three or four guys that we can You got in bodies, there. it's just lack yeah. of experience. It's lack of those experience. Guys experience yeah. in the center, yeah. But you know how it is with us. You know, I take the ball and hand it to the big back. and yeah, You're not going to be slinging it around. No, no we're not. Yeah, there's nothing fancy no, coming from no, you guys. No. Now, now, we are right now, we are on Red Gaston Field. But uh, something really exciting for Howard this year, you guys are going to have a brand new stadium. Mm -hmm. We're not we're not able to get there just yet. So they're still doing some work on it. Uh, but I mean, just what do you think that's going to do for the kids to have a brand new home stadium to play in? The community coming out to watch them. I mean, what have the kids talked about there? You know, they talk about it. everybody's excited about the brand new stadium except me probably. Uh, you know, one thing that a lot of people don't realize: we lost three games in three years at Howard. We are good. We're, we're tough at this place, yeah. and I hope we can transfer that over to the new stadium. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really, really nice. It's going to be really nice, and uh, we're excited about going over there. I just hope we can transfer that tradition, yeah. that, you know, that attitude that we had here when we get there. Absolutely, guys. I've covered a lot of games on this field. They are a lot tougher here. Yeah. Uh, not that they're not tough elsewhere, but, I mean, they're very tough here. Uh, the new stadium, very nice because it has a brand-new track, so the track and field athletes will have something yes, really nice to play on there. Good. I mean, it's, it's something to really be proud of here. Uh, John, best of luck. Keep Thank everybody you. healthy. It. Find your quarterback. All right. We will see you guys again for another edition of 100 Yards with Stephen Hargis. Thank you.